Welcome back to Bud Smart Home. Today we'll review the December 2024 Smart Things app update. This update includes a couple of very nice enhancements that will further expand the capabilities of your Smart Things app. First, we'll explore the improvements made to the automation category feature. These enhancements will provide you with more control over organizing your routines. Next, we'll examine the new Manage Devices feature. This feature provides you with additional tools for managing your installed devices. Stick around to the end to learn how to update your SmartThings app to ensure that you have the newest version. Let's go ahead and get started. So in the October SmartThings app update video, I reviewed the Routine Categories feature. That enhancement gave us the ability to group related routines. So if you if I go to my routines tab, you'll see up here I created several custom routine categories. And what this does, it allows you to group like routines. So any routines that have to do with lighting, routines that have to do with my water leak sensor. Again, if you missed that how to set these up, check out that former video. The current December update takes this feature to another level by allowing us to change the layout of routine categories. I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Uh, SmartThings has also given us the ability to assign routines to these various custom categories while you're in the process of modifying or creating routines. So allow me to demonstrate these two new features having to do with routine categories. So first of all, how do you use the new feature to organize these custom routines? Say for instance, I want to move the garage category. So you long press and hold, and then you can move it to the new position. Say I want the uh, living room in between garage and ring keypad. So again, long press and hold and move it to the new position. And that's how you can use that to reorganize your categories. You also noticed a settings cog on there. So if you press and hold and then hit on settings, you can actually have a shortcut to be able to access the routines that you want to include in this category. So if you want to adjust the types of routines that are contained in that particular category, you can do that via that shortcut. So we'll cancel out of there. All right. To demonstrate the feature of adding new or existing routines to categories while you're in the process of creating the routine, let me demonstrate this by creating a simple routine which will gradually dim my hall light at a given time. So we'll go to, first of all, uh, the devices screen, and I'm going to find the hall light, which is in my kitchen and I think I passed it up here. Okay, here's the kitchen, and there's my hall light. So I'm gonna tap on that tile, and then I'm gonna tap on routines. And I'm gonna hit the plus sign at the top to create a new routine. And let's take this out. I want my trigger to be a particular time. So let's say, oh, at 10, let's say at 10 p.m., I want to begin dimming this hall light over a period of 15 minutes and then turn off. So, so we want to gradually dim and we want to do it over a 15 minute time period. And when that time period ends, I want the light to turn off and we'll hit done. So now the light will dim beginning at 10 o'clock over a period of 15 minutes. All right, so you're done with that creating the routine. You put the if and then statements in there. Let's hit save. And when we do that, you're going to see a new prompt here that says category. It says add this routine to a category to make it easier to find. So if you tap on that, you'll see I have all my custom categories, which I showed previously. I'm going to put that in light routines and I'm going to hit done. Okay. Okay, now if I go into my Routines tab and I find Light Routines, you'll see the, the hall light gradually dims there at the bottom. That's that new routine that I just created. It's now been assigned to the Light Routine category. So now let's look at the Manage Devices feature. The Manage Devices feature gives you a new and convenient way to move, hide, unhide, and delete devices. 
So let me take you to the Devices tab to show you where to access the Manage Devices feature. So we're now in the Devices tab. If you go up to the ellipsis at the top right hand corner, tap on those three dots, you'll see the option to Manage Devices. Click on that and you have the ability at the bottom you see to move, hide, or remove devices. We'll, we'll cover how you unhide devices in just a minute. Let's start with a demonstration of how to move devices. So say, for instance, I want to move these uh, arm, this arm, and arm away uh, V-Edge devices to another room. So you simply select them, hit move, and select the room to which you want to move those. I'm not actually going to move those, so I'm going to cancel out of there. So one thing about moving devices, if you select multiple devices, they all have to go to a single room. If you have uh, multiple devices that you want to move to different rooms, you have to batch them, uh, first removing to the first room, and then select the devices that you want to move to the second room. All right, that covers moving devices. How do you hide devices? To hide devices, you simply select. So let's say I want to select these presence devices and hide those. So you select the devices you want to hide. Uh, you can select them from multiple rooms and then you simply tap hide at the bottom of the screen. Doing so will make those disappear from that screen. And if we cancel out of here, you'll see that they're now uh, if I go to iPhone presence, they're now no longer showing in this screen. They were there previously. If I want to bring those back, I'll show you how to do that in a moment, but I want to make sure that you're aware that when you hide devices, uh, although the devices remain fully functional in the background while hidden, it's important to note that there are several downsides to hiding devices. So I recommend that you do this sparingly. When you hide a device, you'll find that they're absent not only from the devices screen, they'll also be uh, hidden from the home and routine tabs. Also, any routines which were created with hidden with a hidden device will, it will also be hidden. So say for instance, I use that presence device in a particular routine, I will not be able to see that routine when I go to the routines tab. And lastly, hidden devices will also be absent from the device list that is presented during the process of making a new routine. So in order to make them accessible again, you'll have to unhide them if you want to use them in a new routine. So there are several drawbacks to hiding devices. All right, so let's go back to the devices tab and I'll show you how to unhide those devices. So again, go to the ellipsis at the top, select manage devices, and you'll see a new option in this list here which says devices in use if you click on that devices in use you'll see the option to check hidden devices when you select that you'll see those two presence devices that i previously hidden so simply select those and then at the bottom click on show or tap on show there we go and cancel out of here now you see those presence devices showing up in the iphone presence screen when they were previously hidden so that's how to unhide your hidden devices the only option that we haven't covered yet is the option to delete devices so again we'll go back to the devices tab here go to the ellipsis at the top manage devices and we'll say let's for instance we want to delete those two uh, v-edge presence devices if you select both of them you'll see that the remove is grayed out so in order to remove a device you can only remove one device at a time so let's unselect one of those and you see now the remove icon is available if you tap on that it'll ask you to confirm that you want to remove that device in this case, I do not, so I'm going to cancel out of there. But that's how you use the remove or delete devices. Let's cancel out of there. So how do you confirm that you have this latest update? To do that, let's go to the menu tab, which is at the bottom at the far 
right hand side tap on that and then tap on notices which is third from the bottom so we'll tap on notices you'll see there is an app update notice uh, December 2024 if we click on that this will give you some information about the managed devices uh, feature and also the improved automation category feature so you simply go to the very bottom and tap on the link that says get the latest update and that'll take you either to the Google Play Store or the iPhone App Store where you can download that device so with that uh, that wraps up our walkthrough of the December 2024 smart things app update from better organized routines to simplified device management this update has some great enhancements if you found this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and be sure to subscribe for more tips and updates have questions or tips of your own drop them in the comments below i'd love to hear from you thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video